What is up, everybody? It's Milberg here. I'm back with Rufus's Rampage episode uh, six. Yeah, six. The last track is. In case you missed the last episode, it is. Uh, I made it into a longer episode for because uh, it wasn't too much to talk about, like you know, on the old uh, zombie action front. So what I'm going to be doing today in this episode is going to be collecting some resources and then we're going to go through Horde Night, you know, kind of double up on the longer episodes. And if you do see this and you're made into this uh, video this far, let me know what you think of this uh, kind of longer bit where I do like a day and a half as opposed to like, you know, just doing like basically 4 o'clock, who, oh, like, uh, let's just take, like, 4 o'clock at day 6 to you, 4 o'clock in the morning of uh, day 7, you know, basically just doing one day, do you prefer day and a half, or do you prefer this, uh, or do you prefer how I usually do it, just kind of going over a whole day? Like, let me know in the comments down below. While I am collecting resources, I did want to check to see what the gravel path was going to provide over here, just real quick. We, I know we do want to keep it, uh, uh, a little, we keep them going crazy, uh, on the horde, but I did want to check this out. I just got to take care of Curly here. I think after day seven horde, I'm going to uh, turn uh, turn the old uh, airdrops to uh, to the to every three days. Speak of the devil. There we go. Marla's down. Here, Penny. Beat her hand down with this real quick. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, scrap you down for. We'll make a new. Actually, we'll let's upgrade ourselves to an iron club. Get ourselves a little bit looking a little bit better on knockdown power for these zombies. Ooh, thank you. A little bit of water. Um, wait for the iron reinforced club. Oh, nice seven. It is a higher quality item, though, so I think here in, like, uh, once I decide to craft a new club or, like, the next weapon I craft will have, uh, higher quality. It's, like, into the orange levels, which is, uh, poor quality. Um, morning, Charlie boy. How we doing, buddy? There we go. Oh, let me get some shades for me. I'll just keep the ski goggles on for the uh, protection. Ooh. Got one of these uh, little... Uh, I don't know what you call this. I guess you call it like a an outpost for uh, hunting. Because there is a gun safe in here and it's like a kind of lounge. Nice little head explosion on there, Charlie boy. Mikey, good to see you, buddy. Hanging out with Curly. That just spells trouble. Ow. Oh, oh crap, I need... Listen, I forgot to bring my medical supplies. Thankfully, there's some uh, cloth here. Just back up from old Bob over here. Bob, no. No, Marla. Alright. Gotta be careful of these guys' reach. That's Marla down. Got another Bob. One Bob's down. Oh, hi, Annie. 
second Bob's down. Come here, Mikey. Good old fashioned swagger. There you go, buddy. And he's down. Marla's down. Oh, Psycho Steve. Good to see you, buddy. The whole gang's uh, coming out. Um. He just killed over and died. I did not hear him. And... I don't know if he was hurt previously or if he somehow took bleeding damage. A little unusual for. Oh! Or company. Even slow that down for you guys, like, cause I just watched him keel over and die. I don't know if bleeding damage applies on this version. Oh, curly's down. Come here, Nancy. Back up a little bit for these guys. Never seen that really before on this version. Um, come on, Mikey. Mikey's down. Come here, Nancy. There you go. One Charlie. We got a first Smarly. There we go. Should be looking all right now. Nancy. Oh, thank you for the bandages. Potato seeds. Might be useful. Only way I could see that being useful would be if I have a Sarah base that's not focused on hordes. You just have like a centralized farm. Trophies. Not too much on these zombies. Despite it being 200%. Alright. Let's just uh, hop in here and see what what we got. Not gonna chase down the body, not worth the time and energy. And we're through. Let's see what's in the old desk. Let me turn turn on my light. Thing the filing cabinet, more trophies I don't really want. Break into this bathroom real quick for. Let's see what we got hanging out. And anything lockers, nothing there. Cowboy hat and a football helmet. Scrap that down. Scrap that in and. Pair that up and looking all right there. Search the trash. You never know what you will find in the trash. Other than that, filing cabinet. Um, break this down for leather. There we go, some leather. Then that fridge. Put them there. Scavenging all up. Coffee beans. More canned food. Nice little bit. And that's about it, aside from the gun safe, but don't really have time for that at the moment. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time uh, <laughs> gathering some wood because I do want to make some spikes for Horde Night, and I will catch up with you guys in a little uh, bit. And it is nighttime now of day six. I had done some wood gathering for. And, well, also gathered some stone because I do want to make some extra stone tools over and I just try to improve my crafting level. Um, for the time being, we'll just throw a door there and we'll just give it an upgrade. Upgrade straight to uh, 
metal hopefully it doesn't get broken down too quickly. And I keep forgetting to have all these skill points to spend, so kinda thinking what should I invest into? Invest into an extra level of pump P for extra blunt damage. Um Fast Eddie maybe. But one thing I think what I should really invest into is the survivor and then quicker crafting to improve my crafting skill and everything. Yeah, for now I'm just gonna it shouldn't be uh, too busy overnight. I'm not gonna upgrade that door, but I'm gonna do some tool crafting and and I will catch up when you know, four o'clock rolls around. And a good morning, everybody. It is now four o'clock of day seven. Did some crafting overnight and crafting up wood spikes for the horde. And uh, we're up till uh, we're now about level 114 on our tool crafting. Let's take a little check up on the old uh, weapon smithing side of things. We're actually at level 109 of weapon smithing, so we're about the same level now. The tool crafting level should definitely uh, help out in a little bit of damage. Uh, was definitely needed. Most importantly, it will give me some more durability on these stone axes. I am running a little bit cold, but I'm not really worried about that. I did want to grab some uh, some extra wood from my you know, for my frames and everything, and I also do want to get some uh, extra arrows crafted for range defense of timber. Looking at about 880 wood. Chop a birch tree down. Oop, who's who's out here? Oh, good to see you, Mikey. Good morning. How are we doing, buddy? Oh, I don't want you beating on the wood with me. Oh, damn it! Pull the my fire. Come here, buddy. Actually, um, let's see if I can demonstrate this uh, zombie killing tree for you. That's if Mikey will uh, cooperate with me. Come here, buddy. It's a little finicky on the timing, but we can. Eh, no. One of those, if it happens, I will definitely make sure to catch it for you guys, but it's like... Killing a zombie with a tree is definitely one of those, uh, you have to be careful. Well, you have to time it just right for the zombie to be there, but it's like, it does happen. Like, uh, it can happen rarely. Like, you have to intentionally do it. Looking good on spikes, um... One thing that crafting these wood spikes is definitely good for is uh, it levels up your miscellaneous crafting a lot. You know, one thing that uh, judges miscellaneous crafting is uh, is judged by miscellaneous crafting is the um, your mini bike stuff is actually judged by that. So like your frame and your mini bike handlebars and your See, are all judged by miscellaneous crafting, and like your your chainsaw blade and your auger blade are uh, under miscellaneous crafting, which to me is a little unusual because it seems like I would uh, I would make uh, that under toolsmithing, but I'm a little unusual thing, but. 
So yeah, these wood spikes are definitely a nice little way to... Like, I've already crafted, got a couple quality levels out of it. It's, that's really... So it's like, it's really good for doing all that stuff. Wanted to grab this... Grab that, but... We'll prioritize that after making some frames. Um, ten should work. Looking at the airdrop. I'm wondering if I could run over there because it's not that far away, but we do have Horde Night and I do want to kind of just spend that per spend the time I have protecting, well, you know, fortifying the base here. And just throw out these maple seeds. Do a little bit of prepping for, like, get out this table. Um, we can make a new bedroll, it's not a big deal. But just for safety, uh, we'll just throw it in there. Not much use in a bed for, uh, because this is a, oh, Psycho Steve, you're a little bit early for the horn. You're about, you're over half a day early. I pre, I appreciate the hustle though. Oh, a bunch of you decided to show up. How nice. Come here. Come here. Zombie showing some effort. Nice. Come on, guys. Did I just watch Marla spawn in? That might be another slow motion moment. There you go, Charlie. The sweat's coming on over. Um, come here, Marla. You guys are him being troublemakers. Curly, come on. Oh crap, my my club is broken. Um. Scrap you down for iron. A little bit of an interesting predicament. The reinforced club is good early on for for all this, but man, is it it breaks so quickly. Grab you some iron and big bada boom. We got uh, Bob's your uncle, and you gotta get. Uh, we need uh, that iron reinforced club like yesterday. Nice. Level 108. And we got a level up in love smithing. Curly's taking a snap now. Sweat, would you like to go down? Carla, uh, you know better. A whole bunch of ammo for the for the nine mil. Very nice. Um, search. Okay, you got nothing on you. That was Psycho Steve hanging out. And just, just start laying down these spikes. Now this is probably overkill for Day 7 Horror, but this is a permadeath series I do want to make sure I survive. I'd rather be overprepared than, than, than uh, underprepared here. And lay these 
these two down here. And we'll just uh kinda knock out these stairs real quick and replace them with wood frames. I do at least want to upgrade these two iron reinforced stairs. Use our wrench. There we go, that should be fine for... Probably just go one block further here. Just in case the zombies uh, somehow climb up here. Yeah, that that's looking good. That's it, that looks uh, plenty reinforced. Uh, for a bit of visibility, we'll just grab this and have the last of the daily airdrops coming in here in just a second. And we'll start knocking these blocks out. Now we have view of the of the front door. He's going to repair that. Um, is there any other reinforcements I want to do here? I'll just beef up these blocks just to and I should probably knock this block out. This is a ramp block. Take a while to knock out, so be back with you guys in just a second. And that's the block knocked out. Just throw the throw this wood frame I made here just to. It's like I want to make sure I do not have zombies. Uh, yeah, they should not be able to hop that. Huh, hop out huh. very quickly. So. Still got some decent iron left, but not gonna use it. And I'd say we're has been looking pretty good for the <laughs> for the horde. Um, I need to check the chest though, just to be sure I don't have anything that I'm in there that I'm missing. Well, crap, I, I basically locked myself out of my chest. Well, I'm just gonna have to bust through here. Not really a big deal, because I'm abandoning this base after, after this horde rolls in. And I'll just break through this cupboard. Nothing anyways. We'll even break through the fridge. Because we're crazy like that. I really want to access this, this stuff. Campfire, I'm not so worried about. Don't need that. It's just eight stone. Holy painkillers. Uh, but... Just making sure I don't leave any ammo behind, I would regret. Take those eggs. Make sure we just take that stack of painkillers. And use to the advantage of us. Uh, 
and some frames just to get up here and throw in a little collapsible staircase. There we go. Not too much longer to the horde now. Uh, where'd, where'd that air, airdrop go? That's to the north. I think what we might do is we'll head uh, we'll head uh, south on this road just to see where that goes uh, after horde night. <laughs> but that's if we survive. Which I I'd say I have a good chance of surviving this horde. Day seven's not that crazy. Let's have that airdrop marked up. And so I'm just gonna wait for wait for Horde to uh, show up, and uh, I will uh, be uh, back with you guys in just uh, a second. And don't go anywhere. And we are coming up on Horde night, the first of the series. Seeing that beautiful blood red. Let's see. And there is the horde bell, and let's see how we face off against these zombies. Let's see if we can see where they're coming from. Looks like they're coming from the north to the northeast. Ooh, I should have taken down the railing. Oh, well. See if we can actually get him. Actually, get him. Actually, get him going a little bit. Now oh, there's Stevie Boy down. Got Marlin on the shoulder. I'm not gonna hop up on the railing because. See if we can get him over here. I really should have thought this out better. Come on, guys, let's see. There's Annie down. Let's see if we can get Putrid Girl down at Penny. There's Curly. Firing off arrows because, uh, you know, even though I got some 9 mil, I don't really want to. I don't really want to use that all. That's some good stuff. Um, let's see if we can hit some of them through here. Sounds like they're breaking stuff, which is ideal for this. You guys like to break down the fences. Come on, guys. Sounds like there's someone else over here. Hope we got, we got Bob over here. Come on. Not the smartest, are you? <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, Bob. Bob finally down. Oop, Mikey's coming over. Come 
Come on. Oh, we at least got a hit on you. Well, I guess now we're fighting here. It has not gone to plan, but hey, it's working. One monkey down. Come on, you. Marla's just sitting there. Took off both arms. There we go, put you out of your misery. Come on, Mikey, you know you want to go. Voila. Check out in front here, see how they're doing. Oh, they managed to break their worst enemy, the fences. Hey, finally using the spikes. Oh, there's Mikey down. Probably break one of the windows out. I'll just see who's uh, hanging out out here. Anybody out here? I can hear you run. Uh, Marla and Charlie and Penny all just doing their thing. Yeah, these guys are really not the brightest. Ooh, head explosion. Marla's down. Here, Penny. There you go. It's, it's all quiet. I'm out here. Oh, there's not usually too many zombies on a horde night for day seven. But... Either... I'm thinking there's either... Some of them got stuck somewhere, or... There's, uh... Or the horde is almost done. Now we're coming up on 3 o'clock. Um... I think it's about done. I know on my day seven horde for challenge master there was uh more zombies than that. I wonder if it had to do with the the time scale being uh you know, days being hour long. Gave more time for zombies to spawn in. Or if we just took out all the zombies for the horde. It's hoping for more. Hey, at least one of the spikes, uh, some of the spikes got used for, you know, looks like two zombies actually died on the spikes. Three, actually. So yeah, this held up pretty well, and I'm going to leave this episode here because I think Horde's over, and, uh, and uh, I thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you uh, enjoyed, and maybe even subscribe. Take care.